Welcome to the video, my friends. I'm a little bit late, four, four days late for the 31st of July update report. We're in August now, but we got some good news. Uh, first off, it's getting very close to release. The countdown on the Indiegogo has started. So this is uh, this is an old post compared to the announcement yesterday as of the making of this video last night. There was an announcement on the Indiegogo countdown starting. So they're going to start rolling out keys to select partners. Now, just to clarify, I did contact the dev team and got some answers just to kind of clear things up. So the backers will be getting their keys, but it's all going through the data on the back end, which they need to finalize and get working. So everybody gets sent their keys uh, who are backers. So yeah, I agree. Backers, I'm a partner and I agree. Backers should get the keys first. They paid for the game. They supported the dev team. They should get their keys ASAP. I'm not 100% sure still why select partners are getting keys. I don't know whether that's just as an outside test just to get some people in because that's easier for them to hand out a few keys to partners and then the backers will just be a mass drop on their back end once that's sorted, which will hopefully be as soon as possible for you guys. So yeah, definitely understand your frustrations. Um, I believe there is an NDA. We'll go through this quickly and see if it mentions the NDA. But yeah, I don't think anybody will be able to make content, but I don't think that's been made 100% clear yet. But anyway, let's, uh, let's carry on, and I quote, We are now wrapping up the necessary work to finalise the changes we needed to make. The 14-day countdown will begin toward the end of next week, once we have confirmed up from Indiegogo of the campaign end date. Okay, so we did know in this update that it was going to happen soon then. Once the countdown has begun, we will begin inviting our partners to test the closed alpha before we start rolling out keys to our backers. Now, of course, again, this was clarified from uh, the contact I had with the, uh, a member of the dev team. Um, and it's due to them finalizing the back end. So the quicker that back end gets finalized, you guys can get sent your keys quicker. So that's all that is. But yeah, like we've, we've mentioned, the uh, partners getting keys first anyway. I'm sure there's reasons for it. You know, it's uh, it's it's difficult. Uh, totally understand. Uh, we're also opening up partner applications again. Oh, there you go. Get partnered up if you're a content creator and want to create content on Dead Matter. Carl has been hard at work smashing bugs with dedicated server system getting vehicle keys implemented so they work with motors as intended all vehicle keys improving the character creation experience and setting up a readme for server owners to assist with server configuration hopefully we can get a server if all pans out as we uh, as we hope he's also implemented the ability to hit and damage infected with car doors driver beware this will damage your doors and potentially shear them off leaving drivers open to attack inside their vehicles and uh, there we go you can see that door there in the infected and this is a reversal one we can see him reversing up with the door open and smashing that door off and then obviously leaving you open for attack um, by players with guns or other infected be able to swipe you through through the gap there in the door and if we move down further we can see alarm code lock thingies nomad has polished up some security home security system panel for the kickstarter era similar to the fire alarm shown off in a previous update players will be able to see the status of the alarm on the pan itself and turn it on and off if they have the code handy uh, try and hack those alarm systems not set it off and i quite like this one actually work on the player based trap the lawnmower trap very 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 similar if not identical to the one in half-life 2 that we saw uh it was amazing with chopping the uh, zombies in half a uh, half in uh, half-life 2 uh, if i could speak properly and uh, yeah this would be pretty cool to use but it can kill you decapitate you if you if you don't prone underneath it to turn it on and off you got to be very careful just like in half-life 2 Constructed from salvaged wood, a cannibalized lawnmower engine, and some sharp metal bolted on the top of the shaft. Oof, yes. And there we go, We've got some baseball bat thingies here, modifications, adding nails. We've got a metal one, wood one, and uh, looks like we've got some studded bats and bigger nails in the back there. So different variations on the baseball bat being worked on there by Riz, reworking the baseball bats. And uh, what's this one here? We've got this one that's loading, and... Uh, First person hands optimizing grass materials and added a second mode to the shooters challenge on the shooting range. Oh, that's pretty cool. It also added weather support for soundscapes on the map. So if we can hear this. Looking and sounding good. Yeah, nice stormy weather. That's uh works well. They've done they've done a great job with the audio, I tell you. 
You know how much I'm a sucker for good audio, so if they can do that audio... Oh, look at that. That's pretty sweet. The water running down the window there. You can see that. I cannot complain about that. Uh, Fia, another of our animators, has completed some new animations for melee weapons. Uh, pretty sweet animate. They, I, I, I'm loving the animations they're pushing out. they got some talent. I'll tell you, talent on the team. I'll tell you that for nothing. Thank you all for continued support. Yes, yes, yes. If you're not a backer already and want to support the development team of Dead Matter, you can back the project as following links. Indiegogo, which moves us on to our second tab here, August 3rd from last night when I was streaming. This came out, so we went a bit crazy in chat and Discord. I was messaged, you've seen this? So yeah, the countdown has begun. I'm sure anyone uh, that has visited our Indiegogo Go -Go page has noticed the countdown to the closing of the Indiegogo has begun. Get a start. Head start on claiming your key by following this guide. So you, if you are a backer, you can follow the guide here. I will link this uh, post in the description below so you can get on there if you are a backer. I'm sure you're aware of it already. Um, I don't know if you can still back it. If you can still back it, then go ahead and claim your key as well. That way, if you want to support the developers. During this time, we're going to start trickling in our partners for testing at the end of the countdown. It will take a day or two to rectify the differences between our records and the go Back in records once complete, we'll begin rolling out keys to backers. Uh, rectify the differences between our records and Indigo back-end records. Okay, so that's their data back-end stuff, trying to figure all that stuff out. So, hmm. Obviously, I've backed games before, like um, Survive the Nights, and we all got our backer keys, like, at the same time at first. Like, no content creators got them first. We all got them at the same time. So it's a little bit weird. Yeah, I totally see what you're saying. Um, as a partner myself, you know, I, you know, Backers should get it first. Like I've said, it's, it's it's really weird way they're doing it, but you know we don't know what's going on. Maybe they've had issues anyway, legal issues. So maybe there's something else going on and they're struggling. So easiest way to get some extra testers in is partners, and then you guys will all get it as backers. So hopefully, anyway, like we've said, ASAP. Backers will be notified by email when they are able to access their closed alpha Steam key on the QI software orders page. After the Indiegogo campaign has closed, backing will still be available via the QI software store, so you can still support the team. Uh, we're incredibly excited to start getting the closed alpha into the, uh, the hands of our partners and backers to collect uh, and collect all of your feedback. Of course, we do that in Discord, feedback, all the good stuff. Um, I don't know if they've got any forms to fill in if you find any major issues or you just post it in uh, the feedback channel. If you've been waiting and prefer to back through Indiegogo, now is the time to do it. Okay, so you can still back through Indiegogo. Thank you for all your continued support and we look forward to your feedback and sharing with you all. Plan accordingly, Reggie. Our boy Reggie there. So yeah, and then they put the final countdown there, which we won't play because YouTube. So that's it. Yeah, Dead Matter very, very soon. It's not long now. We've got two weeks on the Indiegogo. Partners will be trickled out keys to test. I believe there's an NDA. Like I've said, there's nothing about an NDA in either of these posts, but I have heard there's an NDA. I don't know officially. Um, I don't want to keep bugging the devs and getting information. You know, it's um, they're very busy and I don't want them just, you know, me hassling them. So um I'm sure they'll let us know when it's released. Do not create content during this time period. It's under NDA. I don't care. As long as I get to try it, I'm good. I'm good giving feedback and stuff. And uh, when we can make content, of course, we'll be streaming it, making videos on it and all that good, cool stuff. So yeah, yeah. Make sure you get on this, this link. I'll put it in the description below to claim your key if you're a backer. And if you want to back and you're really interested in Dead Matter, you can do that either through the Indiegogo or the QI software store to get on that if you want to support the dev team. Um, I think they deserve it. Uh, amazing work they're doing. Like, just, I don't know where they found these people, but they they got some talented. Look, look at these models and textures and the animations. They got some, they got some talent, I'll tell you that. It is looking super slick. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's late. I'm, I do apologize. Super busy weekend. But uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed the content I create. Or dislike. It all helps the channel if you hit dislike. If you don't like the video. If I talk too much. If I, you know... If you don't like me, just hit that dislike button. It helps the channel. Subscribe if you enjoy the content and want to see more. Remember, I love you all, and I'll see you peeps next time. Are there actually sound effects on that? I want to hear it crack that uh, zombie. Was a little bit of work on the sound, I think, for the door snapping, but hey, that sounds pretty good.